Hello, hello, hello. It is Dolly. Welcome to my channel, Scrapping on the Go. This process video is for 30 Days of Sketches series number nine, hosted by the wonderful, talented Christy of Christy's Beautiful Life. Our scrappy friend, guest, that provided a sketch for us is the wonderful, awesome, talented Jessie of Scrappy Sisters. Oh my goodness, if you are not a subscriber of their channel, I don't understand why not, but you need to be. So please go check out their channel. I will have that listed below in the description box along with all the other individuals that are playing along with Christy and Christy's Facebook group site for 30 Days of Sketches. Now back to the wonderful sketch that Jesse provided us. Isn't this fabulous? And as soon as I saw this sketch, I thought, why am I not tearing my papers? I have been in this awful routine the last month or two, I'd say two months. And I'm not doing some of the things that I love to do. And one of those is tearing papers. I love to tear papers. I love to layer a bunch of papers. I love to use lots of pattern papers. I'm not a solid color type person. And I love mixed media. And it seems like I'm doing the total opposite. So I was so ecstatic to see this sketch from Jesse because of the tearing and the mixed media. We have two photographs and then we have different areas of embellishments. Now let's look at the products that I have pre-selected. I'm going to come back to the ink. So we have this older photograph of two of my husband's buddies. Just love these two buddies. One has already passed right here. And this other one is fairly sick. Um, but he's doing a great job fighting um, his illness. But anyway, so I am documenting this photograph. These three guys taking a rest and showing off their beverage. I selected this um, paper from Pink Paisley, Paige Evans, number 17, which is a 2016 paper. Then I selected this wood grain paper, and I'm not sure what collection and by the, and then I selected this pink fresh um, studios paper from 2017 and let's see if it's got a collection yeah the blahs and I saved these geometric type papers for doing mixed media I think it brings a nice interest and when you add the mixed media and then your pattern paper it has a nice weight so I don't have to worry about um, gessoing if I'm not going to use a lot of water with my product that I plan on using so I have two colors out here of Distressed Oxide. I have Abandoned Coral and Spice Marmalade. And I chose Oxides to use this time to have more of a softer tone. I don't want, that's that. Now let me dump out the embellishments that I have pre-selected. We have a lot of Vicki Booten products here, and they're from various collections. Now it is time to pause the video, create my layout, come back and go over it. All right, I am back. I have created my layout and I am ready to reveal it. Didn't that turn out great? I thought so. I flipped the sketch. Instead of having the torn edges on the right hand side, they are on the left hand side. They show two torn edges. I did three. And the opposite side of the flower paper is the coral paper. So I didn't grab another paper from my scrappy stash. I used what I already put together in this little page kit. Then I tore the top edge and the bottom edge. And then I inked all the edges using the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink and Black Soot. And actually before I 
secured my papers after I inked them and everything, I did my kissing technique, which you can't really see here. And then I did my splatters, which you can see. And I mixed the two colors, Spice Marmalade and Abandoned Coral to come up with my kissing technique and um, some of the splatters. Then I used just some of the abandoned coral to do splatters and then I used some of just the plain um, spice marble marmalade and did splatters. Then I secured my papers down. And then I double matted my photograph tearing the edges from this pattern paper here and I used the coral side without the flowers and then I used the wood grain and then I inked the edges. Then I did my cluster down here in the lower right hand corner. So I had this library card and I know I don't have much room here for journaling but we can drag it on down here. Um, let's see, what else can I tell you? Oh, and then I put this card here. It says, good things come to those who hustle. Then I had the strips of tabs. I put a tab here, which has the months and dates. And I may circle April 23rd. It was in 2006. I can't believe this photograph is 16 years old. Is that right? Yeah, 16 years old. Wow. Then I had a few washi tape phrases. So this one here says, celebrate the little things, placed it here. This one said, this beautiful day, and I tore it and just put this day. And then this washi tape, which is an off-white with black lettering, says, happened in real life. This day happened in real life. And then we're going to move up here to the right. So we have this chipboard butterfly and bird. So for my title, we have, hey, honey, killing it and you can take it two ways. They successfully completed whatever project they were doing on the outside, and they are successfully killing their alcohol beverage. <laughs> then we're gonna move up here to the upper right-hand corner, and we have a sticker that is wonky, and it says beautiful day, and I layered on top of that this chipboard that said this, and it's got gold, on the dovetail area and a gold heart. So it's this beautiful day. Then above it, I kind of wish I didn't place this on here, but I did. I wanted to get rid of it. I was trying to use all my products that I put in each of my page kits for 30 days of sketches series number nine. And this was a part of it, which says good things, which I'm fine with that, but it's just kind of wonky. It's too large sticking out, but it's a-okay. Then I used my butterfly paper clip here and just glued it down with a wet adhesive and it will stay there for a lifetime, or at least I think for a lifetime, or at least for my lifetime. And then I had some more of those matted kind of, um, I'm gonna call them squishy dots. That's what I'm gonna call them. And placed one on that flower, one on this flower, and I think I have named everything. Oh, and then I inked the entire outer edge of my foundation layer using the Tim Holtz Distressed Ink in Black Soot. Now I think I've covered everything. Next, it's your job to go to the description box below and hop along and visit everyone's channel and go check out the Facebook group. And most of all, get out your scrappy supplies, get out your photographs and document those memories in a fun, creative way and tell your story. And we will see you tomorrow for day 28. There's only three more days.